The following procedures will be similar for most universal FMSs, whether using the SSD2 or the DT100, with only the difference being the DT100 requires multiple disks. Insert either the disk or a USB depending on style of data loader equipped. Turn on the FMS. Press the line select key to accept the position. Press data to access the data page 104. Select the disk line select key. Select disk load line select key. In multiple FMSs installations, select the line select key on both FMSs. After the disk has been verified and the disk load page is displayed, Select the load line select key. In multiple F installations, you'll have to select on both FMSs. The FMS must clear the memory before the database will load. As the database loads, the load status is indicated as percent complete. Do not disturb the DTU or FMS while the load is in progress. If using a DT100, a load next will be displayed. Load the next disk and select line select key. Once the load is complete, load status will display received to indicate the FMS has received the database. The FMS will then perform an integrity test and display testing. If accepted, the load status displays pass. Select the check all line select key. If the database is loaded prior to the effective date, the check all option will not be displayed. Instead, return that is displayed and the database will automatically save to the inactive navigation database bank. Select return to return the disk menu page and then power off the FMS prior to removing power.